Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to make a live edge tabletop utilizing our Shop Saber CNC router. Live Edge is a fabrication method that involves encapsulating a solid wood slab, sometimes with the bark still on it, in epoxy and creating a top. Some unbelievable results could be achieved. Now here's how we do it. We start out, we start out with a slab, we'll flatten both sides of it, and that makes it uniform thickness and gets rid of the defects. Then we create what I call an engineered box, and this box is a container for epoxy. So we take that box and we, we seal it and line it with release tape and then we put the slab inside of that and then we pour resin in there and we pour epoxy resin up to just pretty much right above the surface of the material and any, anything in the center, for instance, any V carving or defects get covered with resin and we let that cure. Then we take that and we put it on the CNC router and we use a fly cutter and we fly cut that surface off. And what that leaves us is the wood grain and the epoxy on the outside. And of course we'll have our inlay. And then we typically finish that with some type of oil finish. That's what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna start this process by flattening the slab and we're gonna do that by clamping it to the vacuum table using the T-slots and the clamps. Now, in some instances, you may have to use wedges also to keep everything level. A one and a half inch straight router bit is gonna be used for the machining and we're gonna line it with the highest point of the surface of the slab. Each pass removes an eighth of an inch of material. The passes then are repeated until the surface is flat and all the defects are removed. The slab is removed from the table and the NDF scoreboard is placed on the vacuum table. The freshly machined surface is placed on the scoreboard and the vacuum pump is used to hold the slab in place. Once again, starting with the high spot on the slab, we'll remove an eighth of an inch of material per pass until the surface is free of defects and the slab thickness is correct. Finally, we machine the Shop Saber logo into the center of the top. This is a part I call the box, and so this basically holds the resin and then the slab fits inside of there. But it's a really critical part because if you have a leak, the resin runs out. So here's how we approach that. We said, okay, well, first what we're gonna do, this is a four by eight sheet of a three quarter inch white melamine, and we use that because it's a real nice smooth surface and it's pretty flat. Now what you see here and here are actually grooves, and those are cut into the material surface about an eighth of an inch deep, and then these longer side pieces fit into there. So that way that ensures the alignment. Okay, then what you see here are actually slots for pocket screws. So those get fitted in there, and then pocket screws are used to actually attach that.
And then finally, these two pieces on the end are, are caps. And it, it just turns out because of the length of the table, we just put those on the end. And we actually drill some small holes in those so that it would guide the screws. Now, if we look at a simulation, here's what's gonna happen. We'll start out. The first thing we're gonna see is we're gonna see those small holes drilled. Then the pockets are gonna get cut. And then the fluting, which is, is the for the pocket screws, those are the slots for the screws. And then this cut separates right here. So this becomes a piece right here. All right, and then on these other pieces, we're gonna treat the small pieces with an onion skin cut. So now those are cut out, but they're still attached. Then we come back and we cut them through. That's called the return pass. And finally, we cut the outside of, of these other ones. So if we redo that and do them all, this is what it looks like, preview all tool pass. So that's what you're gonna see happen on the machine. And it turned out we had really good yield on this. We had very little waste. Now these are engineered parts, so we're gonna be able to assemble those and have a really nice structure and a very strong structure to hold the resin and the slab. This is how we normally do the machining on a, a nested sheet like this. We start with the non-through stuff. So that's going to be drilling, that's going to be dados and things like that. Parts aren't separated. we actually make a separation cut and that separates the base from the other parts. As you can see, the machining of the screw pockets is really fast, so it makes sense to do this on the CNC, not as a secondary operation. Now there's a couple small parts on this and we use a process called return onion skin to make sure they don't move. And it involves first cutting them out and leaving an onion skin of about 30 thousandths. And then we come back at what we call return and we cut through that, then we cut through the larger parts. strips are fitted into the grooves for alignment, then screwed into the base plate using the pocket screws. Then the end caps were screwed into place. Next, the inside corners are caulked to prevent resin from leaking through the joints. The final step in preparing the box in is to line the inside with release tape so that the epoxy resin does not stick to the box material. Then we position the slab in the box and the alignment's where it's going to be in the final tabletop. When we mix the resin, we added some blue dye for effect. We first started by pouring the resin into the V-carved Shop Saber logo on the surface and also into any other surface defects. Then we poured the remainder of the resin to a level slightly above the edge of the top of the slab. 
Sometimes the bubbles form when you pour the resin and we used a heat gun to clear those out. The cure top was placed on the machine's MDF spoil board and vacuum table and machined until the wood top was exposed and the top was perfectly level. step was to finish sand the top before applying the oil finish to bring out the beautiful grain in the walnut slab. Well I hope you enjoyed the video. The live edge project seemed complicated to start with but in the end, the machine did all the work, and the effects you can achieve are absolutely unbelievable. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have questions, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.